In this video, I'm going to show you how to swap character models at runtime seamlessly and very quickly using a swap model script that we've created that works well with MMLC. First, we will go to the configuration wizard, go to setup character. Actually, this looks pretty good. I'm just going to make a base character so we can get the script on there, do the work. So now we have this character, player character, everything looks normal. And all we have to do is pick our second model that we want to run. And this swap model script is pretty, pretty brief. It just does a couple things, set some objects active. Um, and that's really about it. So it has to go on the same object as the animator. So here's the animator component. So, all right, so we're gonna go ahead and take a look. So this is the animator object and it's got hoodie guy. So now let's pick our other character to switch to. So I'm gonna select the dummy or just one of them, I guess. Uh, we'll just go with this one. So we'll bring this out here. We will go to prefab, unpack completely because we don't need the top level animator here. We just need the armature and the geometry, the skin mesh render. So we grab these two things, we bring it into this object, and now we have everything we need to do a character swap. So we can go ahead and delete this and go over to your object with the animator, what I call the, the model object. And now let's add the script. So if we go to, you're going to have this in exam in runtime examples, but, uh, so we'll just go ahead and go here. I'm going to drag swap model in. And so it'll swap on the key, the Q key. So let's go ahead and make information about, so we're going to have two of these. The first one is going to have, Let's see, actually we'll do, before that we'll do the hoodie guy first. So there's hoodie guy and hoodie guy six. And he's actually got the appropriate model avatar. So we can just go grab that and drag it in. And then the second object, we need his avatar and the objects to enable. So objects enable is essentially all the script is doing is toggling off the armature and the geometry and toggling these on and then swapping the animator's avatar out. That's all it's doing. And uh, so it's efficient, it's clean, everything's good. So we'll grab this and then we'll go back to the dummy because we want to find, there it is. So there's the avatar that we need. So we'll go back to the model object. We need an avatar. Let's just drag in the dummy avatar and then we want him to start, we can pick whichever one we want him to start with, but essentially I'm going to, since he was already set up, I'm just going to start him on the hoodie guy. We'll hit play. And again, it was the Q key that was set up. And there we go. I hit the Q, 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 Q. So no matter what it's all it is doing is swapping out the model it's leaving all of your mx animator components all the components that you need to keep the character going it is just changing out the model and nothing else good times and that's it